So in this case here, C is that side, yeah? Try and identify that side there, the hypotenuse opposite the right angle. The longer side is always C, okay? The other two sides then really doesn't matter, right? A, B, okay? Um, but they want us to work out the length of XZ, okay? Which is this side here. So I'm going to call that A, okay? And using the formula, well, I've got A squared. Now, I don't know what A is, so I'll just keep it as A. B is 4.8. So I'm going to square that, okay? Um, and then C is 7.3. Now, what you'll find in this instance is that our two sort of numbers that we know are on opposite sides, right? So you've got to be careful how you deal with it then. When you work, we're trying to work out one of the smaller sides, this is, this is the smaller side here, isn't it? It looks like the smaller side. Um, you always end up then with a little bit more work sort of to do. What I perhaps would do first is work out what each of these terms are. So 4.8 squared, if I work that out, comes out to be, well, press the SD button, 23.04. 7.3 squared, work that out, so I get 53.29. Okay? Now, um, with regards then, what we do next, you've got to think, I need to get A squared, because I need to work out A, so we need to take that 23.04 over, because just like an equation, and this is, this is an equation, when you take it over, you do the opposite. So we end up taking away the, these type of questions when you're working out on the shorter side. So 53.29, take away 23.04, you get 30.25. So A is equal to then the square root of that. So we get our answer out to then to be um, 11 over 2, press the ST button, it comes out to be exactly 5.5 metres long, okay?